Hey guys, I'm Coach Amy. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a PhD student of functional and integrative nutrition, minoring in mind-body medicine. I'm also a holistic health coach specializing in weight loss for pre-diabetic clients. Today, I wanted to talk to you not about nutrition though. Over the last few Facebook Lives, I've been covering different weight loss strategies and I continue to express the importance of mindset. In my journey of going from the poster child of what not to do to be healthy to where I am today, I've actually understand what it takes and I've worked to develop that mindset of change to foster long-term change in my health. So my question to you today is, how do you deal with setbacks and failures? Do you struggle with your setbacks or do you see them as an opportunity to learn, develop and ultimately grow from it? And the reason that I wanted to bring this up is because many of the clients that I work with struggle with what they call an all or nothing mindset. Maybe you've been there, maybe you struggle with that as well. And cultivating a growth mindset, which is where you see setbacks and challenges at, or failures as an opportunity to learn, grow, and develop yourself, you can actually begin to set yourself up for success and tackle the, the challenges that life throws at you and bounce back and live with more resilience and meet your goals and have long-term success. So in the field of positive psychology, mindset theory um, says that the beliefs that we hold about our abilities, our talents and our intelligence impact our success. And again, going back to that all or nothing mindset, a lot of the people I work with, they mess up once and they just wanna throw the baby out with the bathwater. So part of what I do as a nutrition coach and a health coach is really work through this change process with my clients and a lot of that work is focused on developing a growth mindset, dealing with the mindset aspect of, of change and beliefs, the beliefs that you hold about yourself. So it, it's really plays such an integral role in setting yourself up for success and not just weight loss, but anything that life throws at you and career, this can be applied to career, to your home life, any, any goals that you set out on in life. Um, so getting back to our beliefs about ourselves. So the people, there's something called a fixed mindset. And the fixed mindset is when you kind of just have these ingrained belief systems that I'm not smart or I only, I can't do that. I failed in the past. Um, and, 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 and really believe that this is just who I am. And I hear that all the time as I'm coaching and that, you know, so I have experience with this. People just have, this is just who I am. This is who my family, this is how my parents are. This is just who we are. Often you hear that too. And don't want to get into that too much. Really, I really want to focus on what you can do to foster a more positive mindset. Because like the truth is, not everyone has a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. We all have a little bit of both and fall somewhere on the spectrum. And some people tend to struggle a little bit more with this all or nothing mindset. If you see behind me, I have this, uh, I don't know if you can see, it says sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. And that's really at the heart of what a growth mindset is about, right? Seeing life's challenges as exactly that, an opportunity to learn and grow from. How can you begin to uh, develop this in your life? Well, 
Let's get on to it. Right now, I wanna give you just a few things that you can do today. You can start doing. And the first thing that, it, that you can do is realize you're not an island. Everybody has failures. We all have setbacks in lives. It's part of life. There are other people making positive changes who come from similar backgrounds than, than you. If they can do it, you can do it. When you find yourself down on yourself, practice some positive self-talk, reminding yourself, I can do this. I'll get there. Do not discount your efforts. I'm showing up for myself. I'm taking these steps for myself. Focus on the things that you are doing to support yourself rather than that one failure. Often it's that 5% that we tend to just focus in on that failure. And the second thing that you can do is challenge your perspective. Now, what does that mean? I mean, uncover the belief systems about yourself, those limiting beliefs, and then ask yourself some questions to challenge them. For instance, uh, the iceberg analogy is really good here, right? We've got the iceberg. 10% of the iceberg is what you see. These are your visible results, right? And they could be success successful results, but they might also be failures. So what's below the surface is 90% of that iceberg, right? And that can be either hard work, positive self-talk, perseverance, positive outlook, that setting yourself up for, for success. It could also be limiting beliefs down there. What's the point in going on? I It's already Tuesday <laughs> and I, I hear that a lot. It's already Tuesday. And, and, and another could be, it's only Tuesday. And it was only one meal. I've got this, right? Let's try again, but smarter. Confront these hidden beliefs. Uncover them by really reflecting. And you're going to stand a much better chance at developing a positive mind, mindset. I've got some examples here. I printed these off from uh, one of the coaching resources that I am a member of. The thought, so you might have the thought, I tried, I failed, I can't do this, it's beyond me, I don't have the ability, I don't have the knowledge. Otherwise, you could say, could I have done something differently? Could I have approached this differently? Another limiting belief could be, I failed, I quit. Or you could say, but isn't this a learning process? Failure, isn't failure part of the process? Was I able to tie my shoes the first time? Was I able to ride my bike the first time I got on, right? You challenge those beliefs. Look back to when you had success. What did you do? What worked? And then another limiting belief. I'm just not smart enough. I, I, I don't have the ability to learn. I hear that one. I can't do this. Another perspective could be, haven't other people tried? And through hard work and perseverance, succeeded? Another limiting belief. I can't do it. I'll never be able to do it. Another way you could reframe that is, Am I giving up on myself too soon? Doesn't change take time? Creating new habits take time. Haven't you heard 40 days to, to create a new habit? It's not happening overnight. Success never happens overnight, right? And um, I don't even know how. I'm going to do this ever. Instead of just saying, I don't know, challenge yourself. What, what step, what plan can I do? What can I do today to get me where I want to be? Maybe that's just researching 
recipes. Often that is the first step. I just or I just want to learn a little bit more about this. Another question could be how could, what motivates me? What 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 makes me feel excited and how can I incorporate some of that into this plan? And of course again going back what's the first step? Don't like don't get overwhelmed by the end result. The, the, the journey is where it's at, that next step. And the third thing that you can do today is reflect. Write it out. A lot of people, you know, like to handwrite. My younger people like to use their notes on their computers and laptops or their phones or audio recording, just getting it out. Reflect. Look, find an experience where you had a, an all or nothing mindset or you struggled with failure or you gave up too soon. Reflect on that. Say, what, what was helpful? What or what in the past has been helpful? What skills am I good at? What skills do I have that I can apply to this? Where are my strengths? What could I have done differently? Right? Reflect on that and then challenge your perspective on those limiting beliefs by reframing. Take the time to challenge yourself when you just want to give up um, and reframe those challenging beliefs. So the big takeaways today is failing is a part of life and it you can make it more difficult on yourself when you uh, when you have a fixed mindset and you just give up because that's associated with negative feelings whereas you can develop a growth mindset with practice and that is empowering that feels good when you start challenging your limiting beliefs Acknowledge that that failure and the failure and setbacks are part of life. And another big thing, don't discount your efforts. When you're reflecting, look at all the steps, how far you've come already, the steps and how you're showing up for yourself. Don't discount your efforts. Reflect on your experiences. That's how you're going to really foster that growth mindset. Look at what was helpful. Let's do more of that. What could I have done differently? And then dig into those limiting beliefs that you're not smart enough or you don't have the, the support or you don't have this or that. Challenge, reframe your limiting beliefs. Find the support that you need. Practice positive self-talk. And again, don't discount your efforts. Remember, research su suggests that with the right attitude and practice, we can deal with the setbacks and failures with resilience. Research shows that long-term success in weight loss specifically most often comes with getting support from a knowledgeable practitioner and coach such as myself. And if you would learn to like, like to learn more about how we could work together and you can get that support, because again, getting support is an important part of the change process. Finding that support, reaching out to the people that you need and um, don't hesitate to reach out. Send me a private message right away. I look forward to hearing from you tomorrow on Friday. I'll see you again. I'll be talking a little bit more about what you can do to foster a growth mindset in your life. And then next week, I'm going to jump into exercise strategies, different types of workouts, the physiological response in your body, how it supports your weight loss journey, why a mixture of these activities support your body in different ways, and why um, implementing something that that works how you can implement something that works for you strategies to find the exercise routine that you'll keep coming back to so thank you guys i'll see you tomorrow all right bye for now